propaganda, I decided to basically show um, the, the dangers of IoT devices, which are basically just having um, several different devices that uh, connect to the internet um, or just connect to a uh, single part, which then connects to the internet usually. Um, I was basically trying to show the danger of those, because basically each time you add a new device that has an IP or that has a, some form of connection to uh, other devices that might have sensitive information on them, they're basically just telling hackers, hey, here's a new little squishy target for you to uh, poke at and possibly get information and get money, uh, really um, anything that they want from you. So uh, I use a couple of images here. Um, Basically, they just have a couple of different devices that are gen that can either be uh, added to IoT or are already being used. Um, laptops, they just kind of have the, the, the general thing that a lot of people have. Um, so I have a little bit more of a fear monitoring type thing going on in there. And their fridges, because a lot of people, um, or not people, a lot uh, right now, but there's a lot of um, uh, speculation that people could start having refrigerators that would monitor what food, food you have, and then if you get low on food, uh, purchase it directly from my grocery store and then ship it, which is bad. You don't want your credit card uh, associated with more things than what's necessary. And then kind of the same thing with Toads or Blender uh, smartwatch. Um, basically, I just have a, two like kind of taglines at the top. Uh, Internet of Things, more like living, into inviting outside threats. You're basically just inviting people to come and take your money. Um, uh, keep uh, spiders off your credit card, leave your devices unconnected. And uh, stay uh, the smartest one in your home, leave your watches dumb. Because basically, you don't really want to make all your devices say smart, smartphones, smart um, watches. You don't really want a smart toaster. It's because that's basically just inviting um, unnecessary threats and unnecessary harm to yourself. And they just have a little fact sheet that goes along with it. Um, basically, I just I show that there are a lot of different viruses that come out. Uh, every year, um, thousands upon thousands. Uh, and they, a lot of ID, ID devices now also use to spy on you. Um, and then they go a little bit further into that, saying there's a, in 2015, a Hello Barbie doll was released, which after a month or so after it was released, um, forgetting who exactly it was, I have it in a, a source, figured out that you could hack into the Barbie and listen and then also talk to people's children. Whoops, that's not a good thing. Um, and also, uh, IoT devices are pretty uh, easy targets to create a botnet, which is basically just a bunch of devices that um, are controlled by a singular one. Um, and then they go to use, uh, generally they use for a digital attack, which is basically just throw a bunch of requests at a uh, system and just shut it down. Uh, I just want to go into a little bit more of an analysis of everything. Um, so I just have a credit card in the middle, because that's generally something people fear having stolen, or they fear having their and having their uh, financial resources taken from them, or at least being able to uh, be fueled by others. And also have spiders, it might be a little bit hard to see just because of uh, the light, but they're uh, red and they're, they're small, they're just kind of all crawling towards the uh, credit card. I'm going to use those to represent uh, hackers, because uh, generally people don't like spiders, and when spiders are bright red and are, there's a lot of them, that generally creates much more of a creepy crawly uh, let's not go there type of a, a feeling, which is kind of what I wanted to um, uh, prey on uh, with people. Uh, and I also use the color red, because generally that's a, it's a really striking color. Um, and it uh, kind of just instills a sense of, oh, that's blood. Maybe, maybe let's not, let's not do, do, do that. It's a, it's a nice little, maybe under subconscious thing. And also with my pages, I have it kind of fading from white to uh, a dark color. I just kind of use that as a, this might seem like a good thing, but like once you start getting further into it, it really could get you into uh, a bad situation. Thank you.